Hi, in this example, we're going to do a problem involving simple harmonic motion. We're told that the position of a weight attached to a spring is given by this function, s of t equals negative four times the cosine of 10t inches after t seconds. So that makes sense because basically it's a wave function. And so if you have a spring and you let it go, it's gonna oscillate like this. And part A wants the maximum height above equilibrium. So let's go ahead and do that part, solution. So this is a trig function and the absolute value of this number here is called the amplitude. So the amplitude is equal to the absolute value of negative four, which is four, right? This is gonna be oscillating between four and negative four. Intuitively cosine, oscillates between one and negative one. So when you multiply it by negative four, it's gonna oscillate between negative four and four. The biggest it can be is four. So the answer here is four. Let's go ahead and do now part B. So I haven't written the question down. Part B basically wants us to find something called the period. So what is the period? So in general, if you have something that looks like cosine omega t, the period here is going to be given by the formula 2 pi over omega. So that's the formula we use for the period in these problems. So in our example here, omega is equal to 10. And so the period in this particular example is going to be 2 pi over 10 which is just pi over five. So that would be the period. So that answers that question. Part C wants us to find what's called the frequency. So to find the frequency, you basically just flip the period. So if we flip the period, we get five pi, five over pi. So that would be frequency. You just flip your period. And then part D is perhaps um, the most interesting part. We want to know when does the weight reach its maximum height? So part D, when does the weight reach, let me say a max. Right, when does it reach uh, its maximum height? And when, when's the first time that that happens? So, T is a time, right? So we're thinking of time. And so our original function, I'm gonna write it again, was, let me switch colors here. So solution. S of T equals negative four cosine 10 T. This gives you um, the height of, of the weight after it's released, right? So, so it says in the question, the position of a weight attached to a spring is that inches after T seconds. So the max height above equilibrium, we did all that, period frequency. So now we wanna know when it reaches the maximum height. Well, we know the maximum height is four, and this function tells us the height. So basically we set this equal to four, and then we just solve this equation for t. So to solve this, we can divide both sides by negative four. And so then we get cosine of 10t, equals negative one. And um, the first time that the cosine function will be equal to negative one is at pi, because on the unit circle, cosine is the x coordinate at pi, and this ordered pair here is negative one comma zero, and so the cosine of pi is negative one. So that means that 10t has to be equal to pi. And you can just solve for t. So t would be equal to pi over 10, and the units here are seconds. The units here are seconds. I might have forgotten some units uh, up here. Yeah, I think this should be four inches. So four inches should be should be better. So yeah, and uh, this one here is oscillations per second. So it's five over ten oscillations per second. Just in case uh, you really want the units and um, this one is pi over five seconds. 
just in case for those of you that uh, really, really want the units. I'm really bad about units. I tend to be pretty sloppy with the units, but sometimes it's important. I hope this has been helpful. Good luck.